Welcome to Open Mic Night. Give it up for your host and MC, Michael Blank. Welcome to the final episode of Apex Aleworms. Shout out to Apex for supporting the Open Mic for all this time. I'm sorry the way it ended. It's tragic. I kind of was hoping this vlog would save Apex. No, nope, Apex is going under, and this is the last open mic there, so. I'm gonna try and write some good jokes, you know? It's like the band playing in the Titanic as the ship goes down. No. <laughs> I picked up a little whiteboard off Facebook Marketplace. I'm gonna help flush out my jokes before I put them on paper, you know? Get scientific with this shit. It's gonna be like Goodwill hunting. I'm gonna like write most of a joke, and then I'm gonna come downstairs, and it's gonna be finished. I'm gonna be like, what? Is there a genius living in my house? It's just gonna be my dad that finished it or something. But yeah, I got this whiteboard, it's gonna be fun. And uh, we're down to our last little bit of candle, so. A lot of things coming to an end today, a lot of things. Apex, the candle, my drought of pussy, maybe, who knows. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and get to work. Dear Muse, please inspire me to write some jokes so that I can make Apex a good last open mic. Make everybody laugh, make the owner forget about his failing business, and everybody will be happy. Please give me some really good jokes. Thank you, Muse. All right, bet, we called upon the Muse, now we're gonna fucking light the candle and get to work. Boom, guys, we did it. And I did have to refill the candle. It looks pretty good right now. I like it when it's all full like that. Yeah, I used the whiteboard a little bit. I don't know if I'll use it too much in the future. It was all right. It only cost $10 anyway. I got it off Facebook Marketplace, so no big deal. Anyways, get to the jokes. Number one, natural light is my favorite beer. People like to shit on it. Oh, natty light tastes like water. Now, yeah, it does. I love water. You don't like water? What are you, the Wicked Witch of the West? She probably drinks Guinness, stupid bitch. Okay, number two. Natural light isn't exactly like water. I found that out when I filled a fish tank with Natty Light and put my fish in there. He lived for three days before crawling out of his tank and turning into a frat god. He beat me in beer pong, fucked my mom, and then joined Sigma Chi. What a douchebag. I should have flushed him down the toilet when I had the chance. Yup, natural light, favorite beer. I know, it's cheap, but I never really developed a taste for the finer things. Filet mignon? Nah. Give me a filet of fish. Prime rib? Pfft. Give me the mick rib. Extra pickles. You want me to fuck your hot sister? Nah. Give me the ugly one. That's just the kind of guy I am. I'll eat dog food. However, I do have a finer taste when it comes to art. I really like the paintings from the Renaissance period. A lot of nudity. I really like the way they draw the boobies and the vaginas. Really nice art. I think I could be an art critic. Mona Lisa needs more cleavage. 7 out of 10. She's got a little bit of cleavage, just not a lot. Statue of David? Give him a bigger hog. You're humiliating the boy. And make it hard. We don't even take flaccid dick pics. Why are you making flaccid statues? Come on, Michelangelo, you fucking idiot. The worst ninja turtle. Number 5. If I ever get turned into a statue, please exaggerate the size of my penis. Make it huge. But keep my balls small, like a quaint cottage in the woods. I need a quaint ball sack. And lastly, put my statue at Apex Aleworks, the greatest open mic to ever live. Thank you for having us here. Goodbye. Okay, that's, that's my fucking jokes. They're all right. I think there's some good parts in there, some bad parts in there, but it's what we do. It's what we do. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to try and remember these a little bit. It'll be really helpful if I can memorize this and should be a fun night. So I'll see you fuckers there. Peace. Oh shit, guys. Okay, we on the way. Last Apex Ale Works ever. Let's fucking go, dude. It's another fucking cold one out here. Another cold one out here in the middle of Missouri. Actually, we're on the border of Missouri, but still. Okay, my friend Michael Crow said he wants to tag along, so I'm gonna go pick his ass up and then we go into the mic. Look at this motherfucker. What's up, Crow? <laughs> he said hello to the vlog. Let's go. Warm. This guy's cold. 
shown everybody where I live. Michael Crow, 429 Huntington. Dude. <laughs> Boom, guys, we made it to Apex. There's the beautiful sign. Last time we're ever gonna see that shit. What's up, Mike? Yeah! What's up, bro? What up, Phil? What up, Keith? Oh, yeah. May the odds be ever in your favor. Guys, Tristan showed up for the last open mic here ever. I never knew where it was, dude, but it turns out I donated plasma right across the street. If everybody had just told me it was near the Octopharma in, <laughs> in Independence, I would have fucking figured it out. I've donated plasma there, too. <laughs> it's the only time I've been to Independence, I'm like, is this the only parking lot <laughs> in Independence? Can I Venmo one of you for some games? Phil. Hosting this shindig tonight, You're hosting? Bro. Yeah, Brock's taking over when he gets here, but Sam's out with strap, so he texted me at like 8 a.m. this morning. He's like, can you take over? I was just wondering where the hosts were. Are you getting You're looking at him. No, I'm getting to figure out how to turn the sound system on so I can make an announcement. Guys, Phil's hosting tonight. I'm it's distracting so him. Fire, dude. It's so fire. so fire. Are you doing new jokes or? Yeah, some. Really? Yeah. Nice. I got, I, I got a pretty genius bit I'm really? working on today. Yeah, hey, let's go. How do we turn the sound system on? Guys, the list is out. I'm going up number five, which is the exact spot I wanted. Fucking crazy, dude. Super lucky. Crow forgot his ID over here, so he had to have his mom send him a picture of it so he could show Thanks, the bar. Mom. Shout out Crow's mom. Oh. Your mic, too? Hello. Yeah. Hey, Mike. Uh, Three Michaels. There, like, there's another over there. Yep. There's a fourth Michael. There, there, there's a fourth and a fifth Michael over there. And, like, when are you going up? I'm going up right, right after you. Oh, okay, yeah, bet. Everybody. Yeah. Just for the chance. Keep things uncomfortable. It's Michael Blank, everybody. All right, guys. We did the set. In short, it was trash. I didn't have that much fun. It just wasn't very good. I was like a little bit just in a bad mood before going on stage. The vibes were off. Like when the host came up to start the show, everybody was just talking. No one was paying attention. And then a comedian came up like two people before me. And he was just so bad. He was telling jokes that weren't even original. He was like, oh, this girl was named Eileen and she only had one leg. And I, obviously it shouldn't have bothered me that much, but I was like, I literally started heckling him. I was like, get off the stage. That's probably why I did bad because I was heckling someone. I was like angry, but I went up there, shit the bed, it was awesome. No. They did enjoy the part about how I was like, oh, I'm not a man of high taste. I'll take a McRib over the prime rib or whatever. I never really developed a taste for like the finer things in life. Like I know natural light is cheap or whatever, but that's just who I am. Like, oh, prime rib? Nah, give me the McRib, you know? <laughs> filet mignon? <laughs> give me the filet of fish. You want me to fuck your hot sister? Give me the ugly one. That I'll fuck the ugly sister. They liked that part. They also laughed at the part about where I said like the wicked witch probably drinks Guinness, which I don't know why they laughed at that. That was that was stupid. A lot of people shit on natural light. They're like, oh, it tastes like water. It's true. I like water though. It's good. Like who doesn't like water? What are you, the wicked witch of the West? That bitch probably drinks Guinness. No. Oh. <laughs> stupid joke. But um. Honestly, it just went bad. I don't know. I just didn't. I wasn't in the right headspace when I went on stage. Um, the jokes didn't come through. And yeah, it's pretty much it. Honestly, I'm ready to go get drunk and forget about the whole experience. So that's going to be awesome. Also, I only went like three and a half minutes out of five. So that's not good. Leaving time on the board. I, I asked them like, oh, does anyone want to guess what kind of fish it was? And then someone was like, a beta fish. And I was like, actually, it was a made up story, you fucking idiot. Anyone want to guess what kind of fish it was? A beta fish. It's actually, that's a good guess. It's actually a made up story, though. So I didn't have a fish. You fucking, dude, I said it turned into a frat god. You thought that was real? God. And they say I'm stupid. That part wasn't really that funny, but it's kind of funny. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing. The only redeeming quality of the set was the prime rib part. Yeah, well, you know what? The good news is I never have to fucking come back to this place. 
I get to leave with a bad taste in my mouth. That's always nice. I do appreciate everything Apex has done hosting the open mics over the years. And it's been a hell of a time. I think this is Apex number nine. Whatever it is, it's the last one, the series finale. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for watching all the Apex episodes. And tomorrow night, we're going to Murph's Comedy Club in Lawrence, Kansas. It's going to be fucking awesome. I'll see you guys there. Peace.